Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man and it doesn't look like a huge amount of progress today because I didn't spend uh, a lot of time out here. I did get the sheeting on the back half of the roof so the roof is all technically closed in with uh, OSB anyway and uh, I've done a bunch of painting uh, most of these boards have a coat of paint on both sides. It's much better if you do it on both sides than if, well, oh, those are the ones I have only done both sides so far. Yeah, I'm sure I got picked it up, got it on my hand. The rest of them are painted on both sides. These are the rakes and fascia boards over here. These are the first part of my corner, so I haven't uh, finished painting those yet. And I painted my soffit. Uh, I used the OSB, leftover stuff from the roof. And uh, so you can see that's all on and ready to start putting the fascia on tomorrow. Rakes and fascia. And probably the gable ends. And depending on how far along I get, maybe I will install the window here and do my a uh, special trim detail that's going to go on here. We're not going to use the regular siding in this opening around the window, but we're going to uh, make it a little bit special. I won't give that away. You'll see it when it happens. And as always, well, not always, but I often like to show you an extra helping hand. And here's another one. When you're working by yourself and you need something to be flush at the end and you can't reach there, you're halfway down, standing on a ladder and your arms aren't long enough, just tack a piece of wood on the end of your rafter like that and then you can just butt your soffit right up against it and go to town, stapling it in place with the confidence in knowing that it'll be flush. So there you have it, another helping hand from the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Thanks for watching. Bye now.